Hello Capricorn and welcome to your July 2018 reading. Um, I keep doing this every video. I don't know what to say. It's 333. Um, like, share, subscribe. All the information is in the description box below. If you guys would like me to do your general read live, please let me know below in the comments because um, I did uh, the first three signs, Cancer, Sagittarius, and Pisces. I did them live, but my moderator had to go to bed, so I didn't want to wait until tomorrow to get you guys reads out, but I will also be doing you guys general reading, so let me know below if you want that live. So I'm going to go ahead and pick two Oracle cards. I got a new deck. It's a Love Oracle deck. I'll be using it in place of the Romance Angel, switching it up, keeping it fresh and things, and watching out for the Teva. And I'll be picking three cards for both you, as well as your cross watcher, or the person you guys are connecting with this month. So if you would like to join me in taking a deep breath, so that we may ground ourselves and prepare for this reading, you're more than welcome. Mm-hmm. card for Capricorn, one card for the person that they are connecting with. And then three cards for Capricorn and three cards for the person that they are connecting with. see what you guys have in your present energy. The present energy you guys have is the Three of Cups. Your past influence is the Fool card and the glare is getting on my nerves. Tag nab it. Okay. Going forward, you guys have the Six of Swords. Oh my god, this glare is like the death of me right now. Okay, my little cappies, so I'm seeing in the past, you guys either took a risk or had an opportunity to take a risk. You guys, uh, you guys have a new beginning that started in the recent past. And uh, presently right now, I would like to say that you guys are rather happy about it, I would say. Um, but I, I kind of feel this is more or less like, uh, how can I say, it's like a... A shift of energies and I kind of don't know why I kind of feel the vibe of like coupled Capricorns but I'm kind of feeling like uh, I don't know it's like something came in I don't know if you guys got money that came in or maybe you guys moved or something of the sort or maybe even you guys got married yeah maybe that you guys got married um, to the person that you've been with so it's kind of like you know it's this whole celebratory time right now but it's um yeah because it's like it's almost like you're shifting um what is the word for this it's like different levels i guess because it's like i sense it's like it's the same thing but it's a higher level of the same thing so the only thing to me that that kind of sounds like is like either moving in together or like marriage right so it's like you're in the same relationship and you guys took like another step to another level of seriousness or commitment, right? But I kind of want to say marriage though. Um, yeah, I do kind of want to say marriage, that you guys got married. But um, going forward, um, I'm seeing that you guys making this decision to do so kind of was in the best interest 
of both of you because um, I don't know, maybe it was one of those situations where, you know, you live with a person for a really, really long time and you guys like have kids together and all that stuff and you just never got married. And that was kind of like a point of contention within the relationship because you guys never got married. But I see that um, making the decision to, you know, take that step is kind of uh, closing a chapter in you guys' life to where you're going on to something um, new, you know? So it's just kind of like starting fresh and leaving behind um, that contention point or that um, or giving your partner like that sense of mental release because I think the person that <clears throat> you were with because you guys were not taking that particular step it was making you feel some type of way or making them feel some type of way. Like they were kind of like, do they really love me? Do they really want to be with me? Do they really want to spend the rest of their lives with me? And, you know, because if they did, it's like, why haven't they proposed? Or, you know, um, why haven't he, they asked us to move in together? Or why have we never gotten married? Blah, blah, blah. Like things of those sorts. So I'm just kind of seeing that now you guys are moving forward into a point where, um, you know, it's just kind of like a time where you guys just really get to enjoy each other right now and um, enjoy the place that you're in. But what I can tell you, um, it's celebratory now and like, you know, you guys are going into a new chapter, but that doesn't necessarily say that you guys are going to be problem free. So whatever it is that you guys struggled with in your relationships prior to this, because this I feel like I'm just kind of catching in at a really happy time. So I kind of caught you guys at like a good time, so to speak, where you're going through this whole transitional period. But um, but just be cognizant, because this has been a theme that's been coming up in a lot of the readings, that, um, you know, whatever problems you guys had in the past, moving in together and getting married are not going to fix the problems. It's just not. Right now, it just appears that taking this step has done so. But in order for those problems to really, truly be um, uh, healed, they need to be addressed, right? So we have to be honest about them. We have to be honest about what we're seeing. We have to know what those past problems are and not think that just taking a step in a certain direction is going to make them go away. It's actually going to require some work. So the Oracle card that I have for you guys is love makes a difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth and importance. And indeed, it does. But we just want to be aware that, you know, love for each other, um, that's most certainly not enough to carry a whole relationship <laughs> because, like, I can love you, but, um, you know, me loving you is shown through my actions, right? Or me doing things that um, are going to add to you and not take away from you, right? So don't get to a place of thinking, you know, I love them and they should know that I love them or they should be able to see that I love them or, you know, me doing this means that I love them. But the question is, is if your partner is aware of the things that you're doing and if they interpret that as you loving them. So just kind of keep that in mind, guys, um, that if you are in this group that um, is, you know, kind of taking a step to another level, that you guys don't put all of your eggs in the basket of thinking that, you know, putting a ring on it or moving in together is just going to instantly heal everything that was wrong with the relationship. It's still going to require work. Now, the person that you guys are connecting with, ooh, we have the sun card in their present energy. Oh my gosh, that's glare. Tag, nab it. Okay, sun card. The past influence is the knight of wands. So this, of course, is your cross watcher person or the person that you guys are connecting with. Ooh, and going forward, there is, oh my God, the glare. Oh my gosh, this glare is making me so angry. The temperance card. So if I just put it up in the corner like that, that seems to work. Interesting. They have two major arcanas and you have one. Okay. Let me see. Their oracle card. Be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. Interesting. Very interesting. So, uh... Mm, I think I want to start with just the cross watcher person. <sighs> Interesting. So, mm, okay. 
So for this cross watcher person, as well as for Capricorns who are in a new situation, like say you guys were single and you just recently started dating someone or you're just starting to get serious with this person. I would say that this situation came in pretty quickly. Like this person, um, I don't want to necessarily say that it's a bad thing. Like they love bombed you, so to speak, but just not in that negative context. It's just things with you guys started pretty quick. It's like you took a chance on love, you know, like this person came in and, you know, they were attractive and fun and they were a risk taker and things of the sort. And they came in and they swooped you off of your feet and you were like, oh my gosh, I need to try new things. I need to do something different. And like, you know, they just came in and you took a chance, right? So right now, the thing that I see is that things are going pretty good for you guys presently because, um, this is funny. It's like the person makes you so happy, you know, well, I would say Capricorn makes you so happy that it makes you feel like a little kitty again, you know, it makes you feel youthful and giddy and giggly and bubbly. And it's like, oh my gosh, I just love them. They're just so awesome. And, you know, you guys do a lot of fun things together and whatnot, you know, and um <laughs> that's so freaking adorable but um i still kind of feel like i have to say the same thing that i said for the capricorns in the beginning is um you know relationships aren't just built on that you know oxytocin love infused i'm in love with you type of emotion there's so much more that goes into it and a stronger foundation needs to be built, right? So, and then especially for the cross, the cross watcher with your Oracle card saying to be authentic to who you are is like, you know, if Capricorn is doing things that you don't necessarily agree with or you're kind of seeing them do stuff that kind of isn't your vibe and that's specifically for those cross watchers that, you know, sorry Capricorn, but you may be connecting with a Capricorn that, you know, you may sense that they're, you know, dealing with a lot of different people. Like they're kind of, you know, they're fun and fancy free and want to give love to everybody on some stuff, you know? And uh, maybe either they told you this or, you know, have been very clear about this. Like you enjoy the feelings that you feel when you're with them. You're happy being with them, but you're aware of the fact that, you know, they have a tendency to kind of womanize or... What is it called when chicks do it? Man, man eyes. I don't think that's a word. I don't know what the word is for when women woman eyes. Man, man eyes. I guess it would be that. That doesn't even sound right. Anyway, you get my drift, nonetheless. But anywho, but it's like being aware of that. So even though the person does make you get like the warm and fuzzies and whatnot. Is being aware of the fact that, you know, they kind of double dip and deal with other people. And you kind of have to be honest with yourself about if you're willing to deal with that. Like, not to go into the situation thinking that you could change the person or thinking that you could love them so much that they're not going to want to do that anymore. It's like you have to be respectful of who people are and how they're showing up and taking into account the fact that, yeah, you know, this is who they are, this is what they're about don't attempt to change that because we can't change other people right because you could end up in a situation to where you end up getting your heart broken because you know you may see that they're like that and then be like oh you know i could deal with that because i'm progressive you know i'm totally progressive like i'm not tripping girl like i'm cool that my dude has like four chicks on his eyes no big deal like let him do him if you're really not about that life you're really gonna hurt your own feelings so don't do that you know and um, for those of you who are meeting uh, a Capricorn and, you know, I mean, stuff's like copacetic, stuff's going good. You're having your little warm, fuzzy, giddy, giddy feeling and you guys are having fun going out, drinking, having fun with your friends because I kind of do get that vibe. It's like stuff may have started kind of quick. You guys took a chance on each other. And like as of right now, everything's going good, introducing each other to your friends and so on and so forth. Um the thing that's really imperative for this group is that, um, you know, when things start to kind of slow down and you come off this oxytocin high that you're on <laughs> is to 
make sure that um, bringing balance to this relationship by literally like honestly showing up as who you are and setting that same expectation for the other person, which would be the Capricorn, you know, and um, setting that expectation, showing up authentically and really getting to know each other so that you can build um, a strong foundation for this relationship. So that you guys don't end up, you know, um, oh gosh, I'm about to sneeze. <sighs> okay, I went away. That's weird. Anyway, um, but making sure that you guys set a strong foundation for this relationship going forward so that you're not kind of building it on non-solid ground. You're building it on something that is um, very balanced, something that is very focused something that is um uh very intentional so to speak um and i think that you guys will be fine if that is uh is the case but just don't get so caught up in um don't get so caught up in the emotions that you're feeling right now and forget that you know you guys actually need a leg to stand on as far as building a relationship and I also feel it is imperative to tell Capricorn to not let anything that you guys um, like to not bring the past into any new situations. And that's especially for my first group of people. So if you guys have moved in together, gotten married, having a kid, whatever, with um, this person that you guys uh, are with. And they're taking this step to kind of, um, you know, as a sign that they really want to be with you. Accept that. Be happy about that. Don't hold what has happened against them. But also be wise enough to look for if change is actually happening. Don't allow just this step um, to a higher level of relationship to substitute for there actually being change with the person or within the relationship itself. So that is all I have for you, Capricorn, for um, the month of July, 2018. Love reading. But uh, it's been a pleasure. So you guys, if uh, y'all want me to do your general reading for the month live, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Like this video. Share this video. All that good stuff. And anything else you guys need to know is in the description box below. As always, it has been a pleasure. I love your faces, and I will see you guys sooner than later. Deuces.